Well, hello, this is Kelly and I am the Mathematic Plumber and today we're going to be talking about some basic code requirements around chimneys and vents for gas burning appliances. All code references will be made from the B149.1 Natural Gas and Propane Installation Code by CSA. The first thing we need to point out is the difference between a vent and a chimney. A vent looks like this. This is a metal pipe to vent off the burning of natural gas and propane appliances. And this is a chimney. This particular one is a tile line brick chimney or a masonry chimney. They come in different styles, but the purpose is all the same. It's for burning solid fuels like wood, garbage, or fuel oil. Because of the relatively cool flue gas temperature of natural gas and propane, we can actually vent that into a chimney. But we would never take a solid fuel like wood or fuel oil and vent that into a regular vent. Now there are many different types of gas vents and gas appliances out there for them, but we are going to be specifically talking about venting for a Category 1 natural draft appliance. There are two different types of vent that we use with Category 1 appliances. The first one we call C-Vent. It is a single wall vent that actually clicks together and it comes in a variety of different gauges of sheet metal. And the other type is called B-Vent. This is a double wall vent that has an outer layer of galvanized steel and an inner layer of aluminum. The single wall vent has a minimum clearance to combustible of six inches. There's only one layer there, so it gets pretty hot. The B-Vent, however, has a minimum one inch clearance to combustible because it's double walled. When using single wall vent, it's sometimes difficult to maintain that six inch minimum clearance to combustibles. Fortunately, on page 101 of the gas code, we find table 87 where we can reduce this clearance to combustible if we do something special. If I look on the bottom line, it says number 28 MSG, metal spaced one inch apart with non-combustible spacers. Okay, what this means, if I want to reduce my clearance to combustible, I need to take a 28 gauge piece of sheet metal and space it off that combustible surface by one inch with non-combustible hangers and then I can reduce my clearance by four inches. So initially I required six inch clearance to combustible and now I'm down to two. So that's a handy thing that we actually use in the field regularly. The other consideration we should make is where the vent passes through the roof. Now if we got a vent passing through a regular slope roof, we only need to be two feet above that roof line until we get to a roof pitch of 912. Then we need to follow this chart that's on page 96 of the gas code called figure 81. We do, however, have one more requirement. If we look at the picture they have there, we've got a vent coming up beside an obstruction. It's within 10 feet horizontally of that obstruction, so we need to be two feet above it. Now, when a chimney passes through the roof, it's a little bit different. We need to pass through the roof minimum three feet, and we need to be two feet above any portion of the roof within 10 feet of that as well, including the slope. Now vents do have a minimum size as well. If we have a round pipe, that will be minimum three inches inside diameter. Not all vents are round. Let's look at this wall vent right here. This is a BW vent. It's oblong. It has a minimum internal dimension of two inches, but it needs to have the area equal to or greater than that of a three inch inside diameter pipe. Now chimneys are often square or rectangular, but they can be round as well. But we need to go way to the back of the gas code on page 225 to find table C10. This will tell us the minimum size of a chimney. And if we look right here, we will find that the minimum inside diameter or equivalent diameter is equal to that of a four inch round pipe. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. But stay tuned for the next one where we talk about rule of thumb vent sizing for natural draft appliances. Hope this helped out and you have yourself a wonderful day.